Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go over is how to get your images from your smartphone onto Schoology. Um, now you could also do this on the computer. I imagine that if you plugged a camera card into your computer or imported images from your digital camera onto your computer that this would be very very similar that everything would be in the same place and follow the same criteria you would just have to navigate to the folder where you saved your images where they're located on your computer on your hard drive where it, whether it's in a my pictures folder or it's on your desktop to be able to locate that file to upload it to Schoology on the app that is available for some smartphones I'm going to go ahead and open my Schoology app um, it usually opens to what feels like a news feed my recent activity and so the next thing I'm going to do which I imagine this is similar to what yours looks like I'm going to go ahead and open the courses folder in the courses folder I am demonstrating with AP Studio Art now you would go into the course that you have with me whether it be AP Studio Art Art 3 or Photography 1. From there, there should be uh, in resources or materials rather, there should be a folder that's called Student Digital Portfolios and I made it red. Once you go inside of that folder, there should be a media album, which is simply just these little overlapping pictures. That just means that it's a place where you can add different media and there should be one that has your name. Now, if you were recently added to the class or your Schoology wasn't set up right away at the beginning of the year because you transferred into Nazareth, uh, it might not be there right away. Just let me know and I will make sure that you are added and that you have your own media folder. And this is your digital portfolio. And so I made one for me, Mrs. Ruvolo. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And it says, there are no items in this album because I haven't added anything. So to add something, I'm just gonna hit this plus sign and then I am going to choose from my library and then I'm gonna to go to my camera roll, which is where my images are located. And then I'm just gonna check off the two images of my artwork and I'm gonna hit this little green check mark up top here. Okay. Okay. And it should be, oh, it did not work. Okay. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is add caption. Now it says optional here. I always, always, always want you to add a caption. Um, and the caption should be first the title of the artwork and then the medium. So here, uh, I don't know if I have a title for this. I'm going to go just call it um, Portrait... And then I'll just say bust here. Okay. Whoops. And I want that B to be uppercase. So I'm going to go ahead, delete that, go for uppercase B. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and go down to the next line. And this is charcoal. So I'm going to go ahead and spell out charcoal. And I'm going to put on paper. Okay, so that one has a caption. So my caption right now is just my title. There will be other times where you might have different, op, uh, different requirements for the caption. So this is uploading the media still. I still need to add a caption for the second one.